it. The victory is already mine. I can't unsee it. The blessings are already on the way. I can't unsee it. The miracles are already about to manifest. I can't unsee it. Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. Make it plain. Make it plain upon the tables that he may run that read it. it. Roshana, you ought to be running to your vision. You can't be depressed. You ought to be running to your vision. You ought to be working towards your vision. You ought to be praying on your vision. Tell somebody, I can't unsee it. Tell somebody, I can't unsee it. No matter how much they call me on my name, I can't unsee it. No matter how much they don't want to help us, I can't unsee it. I find somebody say, I can't unsee it. I told you years ago what motivated G.E. Patterson to run for the bishop of the Church of God in Christ when there was already a presiding bishop. He quoted a scripture that said in Psalm 90 and 12, Lord, teach us how to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. He said, I only got about 10 or 15 years left to live. And if this next bishop, if he don't run, I may never follow my vision. He said, I already saw that God had already shown me I was going to be the presiding bishop over my grandfather's ministry. If I don't run, I know people not going to like me running because it's never been done before. Nobody has ever run against a bishop that was already there until he died. But I'm not going to wait on him to die. I ain't going to wait on somebody else to keep my vision. I'm not going to wait on somebody else to bring what God has already shown me that I'm supposed to have. I'm not going to put my vision in the hands of somebody else. I got